Hey science fans, it's time for a pop quiz. Get out your pencils and answer me this. What do these tall buildings, this tennis ball, and this rubber band all have in common? The answer is elasticity. Elasticity is a property of a material that will return the material to its original shape after it's been reshaped, or as we scientists like to say, deformed. Take a look at this spring right here. It's a great example of elasticity. I can take the spring and bend it in whatever shape I like, doo -doo -doo, but as soon as I let go, it might wave around for a little while, but eventually it's going to end up back in the same shape it started in. That's elasticity. That's all it is. It just means the material pops back into its original shape after it's been bent. I can do the same thing with this metal rod. If I bend it a little bit, it bends, but it always pops back to its original shape. Boing. Now this rubber band also exhibits elastic deformation. I'll pull on it, and when I let go, it pops right back into its original shape. I think it's a pretty cool demonstration of just how elasticity is everywhere in our... Cut, cut, cut. Ugh. Well, let's take a look at the elastic properties of some various household items. This banana does not display elastic deformation. It does not go back into its original shape. What about novelty doggy toy? Yep, pops back into its original shape. Elastic. Now what about these tall buildings? How are they elastic? Well, if you've ever been on the top floor of a skyscraper during a big windstorm, you probably felt it sway a little bit. Well, architects and engineers design skyscrapers to do that. It's a brilliant safety feature because the building just moves a little instead of breaking. Elasticity is awesome. With a tall, slender structure, the building oscillates, causing various bends. Consequently, the frame must have sufficient flexibility to permit the structure to assume the distorted shapes. Without such resilience, the structure will suffer excessive damage. So when you bounce a ball, you're actually using the property of elasticity that it stores energy. When you drop it, it gathers a bunch of speed and then bounces back up, right? Well, when you drop it, it hits the ground. And when it hits the ground, it deforms, and that stores energy elastically. And then when it undeforms, it pops back, and that releases energy. And it's that elastic energy that it stored for just a split second that pushes the ball back up in the air. And that's why balls bounce. Well, that's elasticity. I'm gonna go jump on a trampoline.